everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game! And today, uh, ooh, and today, <laughs> we have unlocked, well, not necessarily just yet, we're about to unlock what could be one of the most OP dinosaurs in the game, and is also letting in a breath of fresh air from Jurassic World Alive. If you've ever played the game, you'll know that Phlox are quite the meta, and they seem to be making an appearance in Jurassic World the game first with Compsognathus. So if we look into the rewards, where are they? Hold your horses. There it is, it's this one. I have managed to unlock it. Yes, look at that. Well, I mean, I've got the bottom one. We can claim all, because why not? Tiny carnivore pack. Whew. Oh, that 10 bucks, oh, ooh, it's really pushing the butt out there. <laughs> we got a million coin, which we actually need. Okay, I must have had a trade before. I'll take the DNA, and there it is, Compsognathus, as well as another pack with 20 bucks, 150 DNA, and the Velociraptor Gen 2. Surprisingly, that's that's actually quite a good dinosaur, and quite a rare one to get. Uh, so now all the extra stuff I'm going to get is just going to go towards that. We could upgrade for $29.99, which gives you another compi. A, well, actually, hold on. If you get the premium pass, you don't get a compi guaranteed, like, right now. So this, oh, hold on. Is it claiming all the prizes that I've already got? So you get the compi pack, you get another compi. And then, of course, you get access to the Tiny Terrace pack, which gives you, like, a 5% chance of getting it more. But at the moment, as far as I'm aware, there is no way for you to get the compi any quicker in the game. So, if already says not unlocked, and it's also not that, it's a carnival. So, we'll scroll. There it is. So, level 40, 527 attack, and 1,379 health, which is... Better than a Rex? I feel... Wait, how is this over here? I think it's better than Rex. So, you know what? We'll do the instant hatch. May as well use that up. And there they are! Okay. Interesting. We'll put them on a usual sauna, because why not? Uh, ooh, okay. I was expecting maybe the compi sound effects from the Lost World. Okay. Let's do the regular. Regular interaction. What'd you do? Oh, they do the door, they do the bows. They, yes, we like to be petted. But what if you pet them too much? Let's see. There you go. <laughs> okay, well, the middle one's got the majority of the animations. The left one kind of goes, ha ha. And the right one just stays completely stationary. It does a little twist and then it's like, okay, I'm kind of done. Yep, a little bit of a shake on the shoulder. But what about the eating animation? Let's go. Let's see what this looks like. Oh! Oh, wow! Okay! The, is this a copied animation from Jurassic World Alive? It looks like it is! I think? Yeah! There's no, there's no pulling of the eyeball or anything that goes out there. But a killing of the goat! I like how there's already blood on the on the tray of the goat. Shame we don't get to see it from the other angle, because that would look way cooler. Um, I'm wondering why they did that, actually. Why they didn't put the camera that way. But you know what? This, if this came out in 2015 when the game launched, I would lose my mind to that. That would be absolutely crazy. But we've been spoiled with all the other ones. Oh, that's a cute animation. Right, so what do we have? We'll get some extra food at, at approximately 125 centimeters long. The Compsognathus is one of the smaller dinosaurs currently known. I mean, sweeping factual statements there from Lydia. <laughs> don't want to put that lay. Don't want to, you know, have a mistake of the Utah Raptor again. It's like, the Compsognathus was one of the smaller dinosaurs. Is that... Are we okay with that? Are we good with that one? <laughs> anyway, anyway. What I do want to do is check out it in battle. You know, see, see what it looks like. Because even at level 10, it might have some uses. And I think it... Ooh, we could do... We could do that pack. Actually, have I got any mail? No! Still haven't been gifted that other one. That's okay. But finally... Um, we got the March Madness, so there's a couple of dinosaurs in here that we never got before, like the panda. Some of the ones that you might have missed out on, like the Adaphosaur, the Tarbosaur. But at the moment, the battle that's going on is for this guy, the Chromospinus. And if we look at the market, 
we go on to hybrids? I feel like it might even be super hybrids. No, it's 82,000 DNA worth. And if you look at the prize, I mean, the top prize is you do get it. You also get 500 bucks and, you know, 2,500 DNA, which isn't so bad. And you'll notice we're slowly creeping back up and that's all to do with the harbor. If it wasn't for the harbor, I would not be able to showcase as many things as I'm able to. Because, well, for start, well, at least we got to see the compi. You know, we, I mean, I've, I think I've already seen it level 40 because, like I said, people already have it level 40 because they've hacked the game. And again, Lydia is doing, you know, no no steps towards punishing people who hack the game. Again, I would say if you got le like compi or, you know, a dinosaur that you can't get level 40 and people have it in the game, just do a sweep of the code. Anyone that has it, ban the account. That's uh, simple. But again, it would look bad, bad for shareholders because they'll just see a dip in active users and then ask why that's happened. At least that's my theory behind it. Anyway, if I if I was on the board of directors and it'd be like, we've got to make money. I, like, it looks bad if half the, half the player base just disappears <laughs> overnight. Um... <laughs> So, right, what do we have? Uh, anything going on? We've got Rarity Rumble, that's alright. I never did anything towards... I mean, if I was, you know, wanting to play this more... <laughs> I don't know. It's just, as long as I get the creatures, I get my resources, I'm kind of happy. Everything else is a bonus. Getting Kappasuchus Gen 2. Do I even have that guy? No, I do have it. It would say not owned if I don't. So you've got the carnivores. Ooh, interesting. You've got gold rewards, which doesn't guarantee you any books. And they are really, really hard. So, <laughs> no. But what we'll do is we will use this guy. We will use the compi. Now, where is the compi? I mean, it's level 10. It's it's an epic. Is it going to be down here? That's level 30. Le no, level 10. We're still going down. Uh, level 30. Oh, it's going to be around about here. We're getting close. Compi's gonna be here any second. I've got loads of level ones that I can have so many things leveled up. Like a Trodon, a Segnosuchus, a Spinoraptor, Trandon Gen 2, Blues. These are things that I've just hatched and then never bothered, I guess. Um Where are you? Level level 10, it's gonna be around here. There it is! Ooh, and then we get our first ever infographic on it. When in battle, each creature will have its own health bar section. Once the section is completely empty, that creature is lost. So it works exactly like it does in Jurassic World Alive. Um, when hit by a seven or eight action point attack, the opponent can damage all three creatures at once. Oh, so that's how they've got round it. Okay, so using the compi the way that we're going to use it, it says when hit by a seven or eight. So I'm wondering if it does an eight action, right? And you have four block? That would make it four, right? So as long as you always block two, you're never going to take an all-out hit, I would assume. Uh, swap a flock out and then back in again to have a chance at reviving a creature. A chance. Okay, interesting. Right, okay. But it's going to work absolute wonders for how we're going to use the creature. So we have all carnivores. This is brilliant. May as well put those creatures in and let's do it. Little Compi chirping away. All right, so, I mean, because seven or eight attack is impossible for the per for, for the first, for the first two or three turns, maybe two turns. There you go, there's two damage, kills one. But again, not a problem. In fact, I may be tempted to swap it out. Uh, there we go. We've got six. I will swap in the Gorgo. Uh, I'll go for one block just in case. Do you go for one? He's got like five, four. Okay, so max you can do to me is kill me. Oh, okay. Okay, you can't. Right, so we've got massive. We've got eight now. And that's really all we need to do. The, the, uh, the dangerous thing with Compi was that... Uh, oh, sorry, with this strategy is that if I use something really weak just to farm off uh, regens or like the, the action points, um, it might die in one hit. But with a compi, okay, so I swapped out and I, I didn't get anything cool. Okay, sweet. <laughs> so now we can wait for it to get a massive amount of attack. Oh my God, compi might be the new best dino in the game, you know, right? Okay, so I'll swap in Gorgo, swap in the Gorgo. 
We'll go for that. Maybe, I don't know how much block it had. Okay, it went for two extra. That 3,200 attack gets turned out to 1,000. Oh, thank God. Okay. And it's only got three attacks. I think that might... Oh, it's not enough. Okay. So now we can swap in Compi. Hopefully get a regen. That's twice now. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay. I think, it's, I think it's as good as God at this point. That's a shame. We swapped it in twice. It didn't get a regen, which is a bit of a shame. And he's going to go for four to kill us. But... We swapped so many times. No! Died by itself. And we could have gotten, you know, an extra one every time there. I think. You know what the strategy is? This could be... Oh. This could be so freaking good. Especially just for farming um, battles like this. Okay, okay, fair enough. I'll take that. Yep, I'll take that. Um... Because normally, I would just put three amphibians. But the thing is, if I'm struggling, you know, let's say I've done the tournament, I don't have too many active dinosaurs, a compi can fill in that slot. Because I can just go for loads of reserves, get to eight attack as fast as possible, and then just have some good coming. Um, I may as well just... Go. I, I, we pretty much won at this point. And compi has maybe been more useful than it could ever have been, or any other amphibian could have been. Beautiful you down there. Love that seven animation. And then Ostoposaurus comes in. An easy clean up there. Maybe factor in one. I think it might have had one block. Maybe not. But either way, there's no way that this Dilophosaur Gen 2 can kill me. Uh, unless... Oh, maybe... Oh, well, unless it goes for four block now. Oh, okay. <laughs> there still was a chance we could have lost that. But there you go. Really, the MVP was the compy then. Kind of just wanted to see if we would get, like, a recovery. Oh, 1,500 DNA. Absolutely gorgeous. Don't think we unlocked it. I will have a quick check. Uh, okay. It's 230 and it's a Gorgos Citrus. Um, I think this is going to be the bottom one. Yeah, it's the bottom one. Okay. Now, if we managed to do this, it said it would, you know, about 230 DNA. That's a lie. That's a big lie. It's, it's about 500 DNA. We're going to get from this. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. I think I need to do two of the bottom bar ones. This is the tricky setup, this one. This is the hardest that we can get. Okay, here we go. Come on, give me loads. Yep, 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 yep. Oh god, oh god. And then we have to do this one completely uh, without failing. No! <laughs> Damn it, just a little bit. Early. Okay, two now. Okay, there we go. 230 DNA. Well, we got five extra. <laughs> really, it's the, it's the 10 super DNA I need. May as well collect that as well. We got loads of that super DNA. And really, you need that to harvest the amber, which I, we don't really want. Uh, may as well just collect that. Anything in the trade harbor? No, nothing new. I think I have. Yep, something to collect there. That's always good. There was something I wanted to do here. I do want to do this, but at the same time, eh, it's a bit tricky. We'll go over to uh, Sauna. We'll have a look at our compi, which I think is over here. There it is. Okay, so if we want to buy another compi. Yeah, it's locked. I don't think it's going to be too expensive when it, we do unlock it. I don't exactly know if we'll need an event for that or God knows what. Hopefully, hope it's, it's soon and not in like a year. That'd be great. Oh. <laughs> now, what I will do is we basically used one of our instant hatches. Now, we need to look at... Because the, once we've used the instant hatches, the timer starts ticking. In a week's time from now, they will reset. And knowing me, I'll forget. So I may as well use those on creatures that I kind of need. So we have an Indoraptor that's ready to go. Indoraptor, 400 bucks just to get it instantly right now. Kind of invaluable. Also, we'll get it to level 10. Like, look at that! 5,103 health and 2,658 attack, I think it was. A little, the little claw, yes. 58. I think I got that right. Anyway, we've got another Indoraptor. And unfortunately, I fused, you know, I had eight of them. Got them to level 40. Was it worth it? Not really. But that's all right. That's decent. Now, let's have a look what else we can get. Um, there's also dinosaurs that... 
I think I need to be level 40 that are super hybrid. So we've got a level 20 Gigankocephalus. We've got... Whoa, we got three of these guys. Interesting. Yeah, we could fuse this. I mean, at a level 40, is it really worth it? I feel like it's probably not. If we can, a thousand DNA for this. I don't know if Kapasuchus goes into anything else. Instant hatch, boom, there you go. Boom jams, another one. Another great one for tournaments. Um, I should have a... I think Mono Stegotops is another really good creature. Uh, let's have a look. How much? I have 7,000. I think we can get another Interruptor, guys. Um, and honestly, Interruptor Gen 2, it's cool. As far as looks go, it's the white. It's a bit like blue. It's got the blue stripe. But if I'm going to be honest... I th oh, it's 2,000. Like, the difference is Interruptor is more attack. Inter Interruptor Gen 2 is more health. But... For a thousand extra attack in comparison to four thousand extra health, you do three attacks, boom, doesn't matter. You do eight attacks, there's no catching up to it at that point. So we can do another one, instant hatch, boom. Yeah, was that a lot of books? Yes, but is this gonna help me in the long run? Oh, of course. Maybe not right now. Maybe I didn't need to hatch it. I could have just chucked it in an incubator later, or like one of the ones that isn't the instant one. But. Uh, I'm stupid, okay? We've got something else in there. I always use those other incubators just to slowly, gradually get through my back catalogue of epics that I got when you could do the glitch with um, the infinite battle, which unfortunately you can't do anymore. That's why we have so many Gallimimus, so many Pachycephalosaurus, and so many cooler Suchuses. Um, although that might just be overtime. Don't know what I've done to earn those, but hey ho, it's playing the game. That's what it was. Playing the system. Oh, we love to do that here. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I know a little bit of a short one. Just want to showcase the compies a little bit, but unfortunately, there's nothing really to showcase apart from that, which they do the battles. I can't level them up, I can't evolve them. Um, I really honestly think, though, evolving them is a waste of time. What you want them for is just to be a buffer for your really good creatures. That's it. You don't want it for anything else. And anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it helpful in your... I don't know. I'd say just get them. Get them at least one. And, uh, you know, because they're epics and they're only level 10, they'll get to, um, you know, the, the recharge on them once they've done a battle and get ready to battle again is super quick. So no need to worry about that. Don't level them up. Get as many level 10s as you can when we do eventually unlock them. I mean, as soon as we can, we'll make another video on that. But until next time, guys... Thank you for watching the video, and I hopefully you've left a like. Hopefully I've, I've done something. Please, please, give me a like. <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.